Welcome back again to the channel, Novare. I will be responding to criticism that I received from my last video, where I talked about the left has a big problem with the way that they treat LGBTQ people, and also the problem that some people seem to have with me being a conservative-leaning trans person, but hey, I'll just talk about it and respond to these criticisms, try to make these very short. Um, we aren't going to start here, though. We're going to start on my TikTok, where I... Got some criticisms I can talk about there first, and then I'll go to the actual video. So, the first one I saw was this guy. I kind of honestly don't know what he was trying to say. It didn't really make any sense to me. Um, he said something along the lines of what you guys wanted that you guys didn't like. Trump, you guys all voted for the left till you got what you vote for. I don't really know what he means by that. But I just kind of responded to him and said, you didn't even watch anything. I can already tell you just saw LGBTQ plus and got mad. Oh, my Lord. And then skull emoji. And then, um, and then eventually this person responded. And I thought they were actually talking to me, but TikTok just has a really bad format and notification system. Um, or they said that Trump was openly anti-LGBTQ, obviously replying to this Josh Tucker person. Um, and that's when I responded to them when I thought they were replying to me. Um, and here he said, yeah, but y'all flocked the Biden and now everyone is running from him. So, and I'm like, eh, that's not really a, that's, this person's right. It is kind of a lie. Because, like, look, even though I'm conservative leaning, I still actually support Biden a lot. <laughs> I'm, like, I, I do really still support Biden. Uh, I mean, he codified gay marriage. That's a really good thing. Um, he was also, like, the only person, really, that was helping with, like, getting the, um, debt raised, the debt ceiling raised, which a lot of Republicans just wanted to literally not do anything about it. They wanted to literally just have the entire world's economy be absolutely fucked, and that's obviously not good. So, obviously, Biden is probably going to be the person I support when it comes to this. Um... And I said to him, bro, I'm a conservative LGBTQ person, and even I'm not that stupid. You know that's not true. You just saw me say LGBTQ, and, and you got, you triggered somehow. And then this person responded. And this person actually had a good point. They said, except these people don't speak for all of the left, not even a large chunk. And I will say that, that, that that's a really fair criticism, to be honest. It, 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 that, that's a really fair criticism. I do think maybe I pr like probably took it a little bit too far with probably, you know, just saying that it was all of the left that were like this. Obviously, that's not true, and I probably should have been a lot more clear about that. And, you know, I, I respect I, I respect that, um, especially because, like, you know, they even said it in, like, a lot less sentences, and it was, you know, it was very precise to the point. And, I mean, they are right after all. Um, and that's kind of all that really happened on my TikTok. Not really super exciting there. But then we got to my actual video on YouTube. Where people, some people are, are not happy. So this person said, So one person posts a meme in your mentions, and now you use that to generalize about the whole left? The left is fighting for living wage, free childcare, and universal healthcare, but somehow you think those goals are synonymous with males? I'll, first off, I'll get to why I uh, brought that up in a second. <clears throat> and then, the second point here is, did you actually try to be charitable at all to the left when you made this video? Did you try to understand why many would criticize a conservative queer person who is fraticizing with the political side most overt about denying rights and basic decency to queer folks? And I'm just going to really say this. If you read more, if you watched more than only nine minutes of the fucking video, you would understand that I was actually pretty charitable to the left. Uh, in fact, I even mentioned that pretty good leftist people that you should probably look forward to instead of someone like fucking Hassan. Um, like I mentioned Vosh, even though a lot of people don't like him. I also mentioned Destiny, and a lot of people like him. I actually really like Destiny. 
And also, Kefos is really good, even though a lot of people don't like her. But she's also really good for the progressive movement. And she's one of the biggest progressive people in the media right now. So, yes, I was actually pretty charitable if you watched more than 9 minutes before posting that fucking thing. Also, I guess I wasn't clear, I guess, about this part. Although, you're still really fucking stupid when it comes to this part. Um... Yeah, I maybe I should have been more clear about, did I try and understand why people would criticize someone like me? Yes, I did. And I understand that there are people such as Blair White that exist who literally spread constant misinformation about trans stuff and LGBTQ issues and constant professors and constantly gets information wrong. And also Milo, I don't know his fucking name. I don't know how to pronounce it. Don't care. All, all I know is I seen a lot of this shit watched a lot of the stuff that he's been involved in and he's not good either like obviously they those are not obviously those are bad conservative queer people obviously i get that i'm not one of those people <laughs> you that's also why i tried to bring up multiple times that there are multiple reasons that someone can be conservative for economic ultra agricultural uh uh societal reasons a lot of different reasons i like i don't know why you clearly didn't understand that, or didn't watch the video, or didn't hear that point at all. Even though I'm pretty sure I said that eventually, but you're obviously too fucking stupid. Um, and I just said, basically, I, this is the whole point where I said, basically, they see conservative as far right again. They didn't even really respond to that at all. They just didn't. They just decided to completely think that that just wasn't even a thing that they needed to engage with. Also, they decided to not engage with this either, besides the fact that they are literally virtue signaling. I basically just said here that all the ideas that these socialist communist people want can be done under capitalism. It's really not that, like, hot of a take. It's really not. Um, other industrialized countries have done it. It's, like, Norway, Sweden done it. It's really not that hot of a take. Um, and also, I mentioned a description where I did talk about things that I should have mentioned, where I even brought up Blair White and Milo in there, but, and I, when I brought that up, they decided that they're not gonna go into my description again, because they don't want to give me views. And also that, they want, they don't, they decided to say that I'm going into some rave dubin like, weird, frantic rant, with like, ideas bro, I'm just talking about ideas, yet Presty never divulges. You've written a whole dissertation full of ad homs, and nothing specific for me to actually learn of what the left's blind spots are. I already watched a full 20 minutes of your babbling and crying about one person your Twitter mentions. Which, by the way, if you got that far into the video, you already don't understand anything I said. And you're basically fucking stupid. And I extrapolated to the whole left movement, yet I have learned nothing but your straw man, straw man abilities. You can't even discern what my straw man arguments are, so you clearly don't care that much about the argument anyway. If you can't articulate how the left can help the LGBTQ community remove their blind spots, then that's on you. Actually, I did, but you're fucking stupid and didn't watch the video or something. I said multiple times that when an LGBTQ person disagrees with them, they just instantly think that they are like the wrong type of LGBTQ person. And we say that they are a sheep and can't think for themselves. I said that multiple times in the video. You're very, very, you're very stupid and clearly can't understand a very basic argument that was said multiple times. Even when typed to you. You're very dumb. And he said if I can give him two basic examples. And I basically said the exact same two things I've said here. But this one I said is that this is a thing I see. Is that communists and socialists constantly say to LGBTQ people is that their life would be better under a communist and socialist system. And I just completely disagree. I also said that multiple times that that was another thing that I said. You clearly just didn't read the video and clearly don't care about the actual content or the actual argument. You're clearly just here to virtue signal over the fucking topic. Like, I'm not really going to engage with you any further because you're very fucking stupid. And I even told him to stop with the holier-than-thou bullshit. It's really annoying. The virtue signaling that you constantly want to do is what makes people no longer want to agree with leftist policies. And that's what makes me not really want to agree with them anymore either. Especially when you want to say shit like this with your very posh attitude and act like you're all right in that, but you seriously still can't even give me a fucking argument. You didn't even answer any of my arguments directly. You went onto your own fucking rant. And then when I basically tell you directly a lot of the key arguments were said there already, you just didn't want to engage with it. So, like, you're clearly not here to actually engage with the argument and or 
and educate me or be educated, so I don't care. I'm not gonna educate, I'm not gonna like engage with you any further. And then this person responded and said, Nazis are not far left, they are not. They deliberately named themselves socialists to trick uneducated Germans into voting for them because they thought the Nazis were actual socialists. First off, if that is the case, I want to see something of that. You can at least put a link in there, unless YouTube has guidelines about that, they probably do. But like, if there's some evidence about that, I would like to see that. But because you didn't show me any evidence, what you said barely matters. I can point out several other mistakes, I guess you could call them. Which, by the way, more, like, fucking condescending bullshit. I just, there's also why I'm not really gonna probably engage with you much either. Unless you say something more fucking useful, you probably won't. Just, you're going about this all wrong. Which, again, I would love to hear more about what I'm wrong about. But if you're not gonna tell me what I'm wrong about, then I don't care. Um, you are looking for evidence to support yourself, not just viewing evidence. Again, if you're going to tell me that... Tell me a better way to view evidence. If you're not going to tell me, I don't care. I'm just going to figure it out on myself how to view better evidence then. Because this is, like, ridiculous that you just want to say, you're wrong, blah, 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 blah. That's really all this is. And then they said, yes, the left can be patronizing towards the LGBTQ, and some definitely just use this for vote numbers, but at least they respect the LGBTQ enough to try and get their vote instead of banning their existence and throwing in their lives. Okay. Well, listen here. What you said, honey, is very, very barely useful. If I can be condescending, or if you want to be condescending, I can be too. It's just how the internet works. You can you can hopefully understand that, maybe. Maybe. I don't know, though. <clears throat> but if you have evidence for this first part, you should have definitely at least put evidence or showed something of it. But since you don't want to, I don't care. And since you want to give me condescending bullshit, I'm probably not really going to get engaged with you either. So I don't care. Um, and if I... And I know that I'm going about it all wrong. I mean... This person said it a lot better than you did. They didn't even have to fucking be a sly little asshole about it like you did either. So, like, I don't care. Um, I, I understand that my argument about that whole video could have probably been a lot better. I understand that it's definitely not all the left. It probably is anything a very small minority. And that just is very loud that doesn't want to shut the actual fuck up about anything. It's just really annoying. It just honestly kind of really is fucking annoying. Um, uh, it, that's really it. Um, I'm probably not really going to talk about this again. Um, it, it's just like, I'm very thankful for this person. That is basically, like, it helps when you say it in very little sentences. And you don't have to be a sly little dick about it. Um... And if, I, and if I have other mistakes, you could at least tell me what those mistakes are. But since you don't even want to do that, you have way more characters to use. But since you don't want to use all those characters, I don't care. Or point resources to me, I don't care. So, since that's that, <clears throat> that's going to be the end of that video. Um, just another rant. Just kind of want to get that out of the way. Um, you know, I'm, all, I'm fine to take criticism and all that. But when you're going to kind of be like this... When you're not even going to finish the entire video, you're only going to make it nine minutes in. But you don't even finish the whole video before commenting is really fucking stupid. Especially when I was charitable to the left in that video. You just didn't want to watch the rest of that video. So I don't care. You clearly aren't there at all. And why I brought up Mao, I also explained in this video. So... If you don't care about that, then you probably aren't here for the whole conversation. And yes, I do understand it's not about the whole left, but, you know, you didn't have to be a sly dick, and I probably would have cared a lot more about what you had to say, but, oh well. And, again, kind of same goes for this person. If you have actually evidence to prove something that I said wrong, that would be nice, but now I'm just gonna go research it myself now, because you guys are fucking garbage. I don't know what to say, but, um... <laughs> Thank you for the people that gave me a reasonable criticism. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with reasonable criticism. I, I really am. But when you are just going to be a sly dick about it and just be like, You're wrong. Blah, 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 blah. I'm really not going to listen to you because there's not a whole lot to gain from that. And that's also not really inviting that conversation. You just want to be there and just virtue signal and be right and purity test people. Which is fucking cringe and stupid. I don't like that. But anyway, um, have a good night. Peace. Uh, see you next video. Whatever that will be. Whoop.